friends, welcome back. We're doing a love tarot readings for August 2024 and we're going to do fire signs. All right, so let's get started with Aries. Aries is like the first of the fire signs from the zodiac. I'm going to do the light seers tarot. Okay, I'm going to read intuitively and then I will do some romance angel cards. All right, let's get started. So Aries, we have a King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Then we have a Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion here. Yeah, person's thinking how he has many options. So a lot of options for the King of Cups. Maybe you are just one of the options or maybe you are thinking that King of Cups is an option. All right. We have five of cups a little bit of sadness from the previous history i feel like the five of cups sort of represents the past i also feel that five of cups is a little bit of boredom it's a little bit of disappointment in romance we have the chariot cancer energy movement forward i feel like intuitively there is a person in your life, could be a water sign, who wants to convey something to you. He's very confused. He feels a bit of deception here with the Seven of Cups. Uh, so he's not making a decision, he or she. Uh, with the Chariot card, could be a Cancer or some Cancer in this person's chart. Now, this person is has a lot of previous disappointments. So they're very thinking very hard and careful. Maybe they had a previous disappointment in the same connection. Maybe there was a breakup or maybe there was a past breakup that was very disappointing for this person. Maybe a bad relationship or a bad past or something related to their love life was very unhappy. Unhappiness was there. So how does this person feel about Aries, Seven of Swords. They're very scared like that you might cheat on them or you betray, you'll betray their trust and you'll run away. So Seven of Swords is about deception, illusions. There's a lot of fear here, all right? And one more card for how this person feels about Aries. We have the Fool. They are willing to take the leap of faith with the Fool card, Aquarius energy. But they're still not very sure because they're very uh, careful when making a decision about the romance. They take romance very seriously here because they have been disappointed in the past. And so they want to take the leap of faith, but they're still thinking about it. And how does Aries feel about this person, the Empress? Now, Aries, you are pretty much smitten. You really like this person. You want to offer this person a, a love offer. Uh, a commitment uh, this is also a card of fertility it's a card of abundance it's usually Venus in Taurus or Libra so one of you could have that it, this is a sign of this is a card of love and emotions and empathy and you know a very loving connection here so you do have a lot of love for this person and then we also have the tower so yeah previous disappointment maybe a breakup a divorce maybe uh, that is the reason for all this despair with the Five of Cups and the Chariot. We do have the Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. One more card. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you have, you really like this person. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or an Earth energy, someone very practical, ambitious, very loving and caring as well. Very down to earth, morally sound person. So you really like this person, okay? This is Queen of Pentacles. Could also represent you. Uh, you feel like you are financially uh, independent. You're doing very well. You want to offer a cup to someone else. But this other person is a little bit in despair. Now, what is the future of this connection? So the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands and the World card. I do feel like I do feel that this connection can move forward, okay? You are both thinking about moving forward with the Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, you want to give in. And the World card, I think it's a karmic cycle, you know, and I feel like 
this this connection can move forward okay if you both are willing to work on it eight of the eight of pentacles and with the three of wands and if you work hard you can make it work one more card we want for the future with the world card could be a long distance relationship could be an aquarius scorpio taurus you're dealing with with the world card has those signs and leo energy here as well but i do feel a lot of water energy here I think you're dealing with someone who is a Cancer and who's a water sign. And you also have the Queen of Swords. I think Queen of Swords represents this other person. This person has been through a lot. This person has had previous heartbreaks, bad relationships. And so there's no... This person is quite a little bit hard, a little bit analytical. It doesn't, think, doesn't really feel from the heart. You know, since it's a love reading, Queen of Swords is someone a little bit harsh, I feel. But Queen of Swords can be an intellectual, can be someone who's very strong-minded, uh, can be someone who makes very, very uh, important decisions, very quick decisions, you know, makes their own decisions, quite independent, independent thinker, you know, someone who can take care of themselves. So that is a Queen of Swords energy here. One more card I want to do for the future. Yeah, Four of Cups. There has been a lot of disappointment in this connection. You know, a lot of um, boredom, a lot of unhappiness. And the Five of Swords, yeah. A lot of uh, bad situations here, a lot of bad feeling. Can this work? With the Emperor card, that is you, Aries. You can make it work. You can make this relationship work foster if you really like this person i think that you should make, move forward with this person try to express your love maybe this is a real situation here and uh, both of you need to work on it i do see a good connection here with all the cards here there's a little bit of confusion and illusion here but i do see positive cards here as well with the chariot card moving forward with the king of cups a lot of love here and we do see the three of wands the queen of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles so yeah like this can work out all right now we're gonna do some romance angels for you we have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others i do feel like you guys need to flirt a little bit you like too harsh with each other like the communication is not very romantic i do feel that here I feel a lot of seriousness here, so maybe a little lightheartedness will do good for you. I also see free yourself, a very important card here. Free yourself, try to take back control of your life. Yes, one of you is controlling this connection to an extent where the other person is feeling very, like, you know, controlled and victimized, or they feel very claustrophobic here. They don't feel happy here. So. In order to make the other person happy, you have to give them freedom. You have to let them decide on their own. You, have, you can't force situations or connections, all right? So you have to free yourself. Or one of you could be also thinking about the past way too much and not freeing yourself. So it could be one or two. One more card I want to do for this. Engagement. Oh my God, like I said, the connection can work out with the Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot card. This could be the one. And I want to do one more card. So... We're going to do the sun here and let's see we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together how beautiful so this relationship can work out you can actually get engaged maybe get married in the future and go on your honeymoon so i feel like there's a lot of positivity here all right now we're going to do some zodiac signs i still feel it's a lot of water energy but we're going to do it anyways Okay, for the zodiacs, we have Sagittarius and the moon energy here. Okay, one more, the zodiac. Okay, we have again, we have Scorpio and we have Sagittarius. All right, Scorpio again. So there you have Scorpio, it is a water sign, Sagittarius energy. Maybe this person has Sagittarius in the star chart, could be Venus in Sagittarius, Sagittarius south node, could be moon in Sagittarius. 
also i have pisces here so pisces sagittarius scorpio all right so we're gonna do the numbers now all right we have five five 20 so maybe 20 days or maybe 20 weeks we have sagittarius here four five again we have aquarius and libra three three and seven so one of you is born in the month of seven maybe july the other one could be born in the march or maybe fourth month which is aries uh we also have five so five could represent fifth 5th August, 5th September could be, 5 could be significant here, maybe you had a relationship for 5 months, maybe you met uh, during, you know, the 5th month, which is May, or something related to 5 here, maybe it will take 5 weeks or 5 months for you guys to get back together, or have a proper relationship, so this relationship can work out, I do feel that there is a lot of positivity here, but you need to, uh, I, I feel like you need to get rid of all your fears here in this connection, at least one of you does like the other person one person is very very positive the other person is a little bit confused about it okay let's do the charms now we have fish which is Pisces. we have scales we have corn, we have skills, we have crab here, cancer energy, Pisces energy. We also want to do a couple of more, more charms. I want something a little bit more, more Pisces, more crabs. We do have, we have a Christian sign here. So one of you could be a Christian or you could be a little bit religious, religious differences maybe. We do have a heart here, so there's a lot of love in this connection. It's a little soft little heart. It says, my cat. So many of you could be a cat lover. Or you think of us, or somebody has a um, catty appearance, maybe. Fish is very significant. Could be dealing with the Pisces, or you could have some Pisces in your chart. Pisces is about unrequited love at times, you know. Also, we do have, this popped out, another shell shell represents water signs crabs as well i want to do a few more we have the dolphin star card aquarius energy okay fated energy distant energy this star card especially here is all about destiny we have two crosses stars fish and a lot of scales and a lot of shells here so i do see a lot of water energy i think your person could possibly be a water sign because we did get water and we did we also got Sagittarius and Aquarius and Scorpio energy could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces all right you're dealing with all right so I hope you like my reading please do like share subscribe to my channel 